Hello, my name is Bearhead. We're introducing a new cooking program for public television. It's called Cooking with the Colonel, meaning Colonel Doug Allard, who is a gourmet chef unknown to me for quite a few years, but he's quite good at his art, and he will be showing you how to cook deer, elk, commodities, whatever you have. He's uh, quite good at it, and we hope you'll enjoy the program. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to a segment of Cooking with the Colonel and Eating with the Bearhead if he shows up. Bearhead doesn't like fish very well, and we're cooking fish today, so he might not show up at all. But if he doesn't, Roy Big Crane, who likes food better than Bearhead and understands a lot more about it, is going to be our tester for the day. Today we're going to cook garlic baked bass. This is bass that came from Nine Pipe Reservoir, Bearhead caught it during the winter, uh, through the ice actually. Uh, I believe they're largemouth bass and uh, they're very tasty. We're going to prepare it very simply, bake it uh, in the oven with uh, oil, garlic, salt, pepper, paprika, a little uh, Old Bay fish seasoning which I use on just about all the fish that I cook. The uh, first step is that we're going to put a little oil here in this small pan and saute our garlic for a while. And once again, I'm using the prepared garlic. It's easier than chopping a bunch of cloves up. It tastes just as good. We're going to let that saute for about five minutes till the garlic actually f flavors the oil. And at that time, we're going to take the garlic out and just use the, fra the flavored oil to put the fish in. And we're going to cook them on it. We're going to lightly oil here a pan. And we're going to bake them after we get them all ready to go. If you lightly oil the pan, it keeps your fish from sticking, and this bass is kind of a flaky fish. So if it sticks and you start to pick it up, you end up with uh, the bottom layer of the flakes of the fish sticking on the bottom of the pan. Consequently, you only get about half a piece of fish when you take it off. We're going to saute this garlic. It doesn't take too long to do this. You have to keep in mind that you're not trying to cook the garlic. What you're trying to do here is get the flavor of the garlic to go into the oil. And what we're going to use in the end here is the oil that's been flavored with garlic to uh, coat on the bass before we break it. Then we'll season it a little more. This is what our bass fillets look like. You'll see them a little more in a minute, but these are cut off. Uh, this bass is probably about a two pound bass, something like that. Uh, these are a little smaller, probably pound and a half bass, something like that. This is a little bigger. That's probably a fillet off of a two and a half, three pound bass out of Nine Pipe Reservoir. And uh, we'll have our stuff here ready to go here in just a minute. And then I'll show you how we prepare it for putting it in the oven. Some fish uh, require an oven to cook. Bass and other fish such as that that have kind of a tender consistency and are pretty flaky don't real, really fry very good and or don't broil too good. Uh, so they really require an oven. You have to put them in the oven to 
to get the, uh, the flavor that you're looking for and the consistency so that they don't fall all apart. Got our garlic going here pretty good now. Get a little slotted spoon and well, I guess I could use this when I get ready and then we'll just take the garlic out of there and discard it after we get the oil well flavored. Now it's starting to turn a little tan here. So that's probably good enough. We'll take that garlic or most of it out of the oil. Doesn't hurt if you leave a little bit in there. If you're using regular, regular garlic and it's in big chunks, you can get it all out easier. But it doesn't hurt if you still have some in there. And we do have a little bit in there. So now what we're going to do is take each of these fillets, being very careful because we still have hot grease, and dip them in the garlic flavored oil. These are nice looking fillets. Bearhead just learned how to fillet fish this year. And, uh, he did a pretty good job. Uh, Eddie Ivanoff is our fishing partner and fish filleter. He babysits Bearhead and I out there on the ice like we don't know what we're doing, like we're a couple old men, which we are. But uh, he taught Bearhead how to do this, and he didn't do a bad job. So we're going to coat this with the garlic-flavored oil. It still has some. Oop, there's one with a few bones in it. Bearhead didn't get didn't get all the the bones off of that fellow. We don't really need this much fish, but Bearhead had these frozen in a plastic bag, and once I thaw fish out, I don't like to freeze it again. Once you saw thaw anything out at home, it's best not to freeze it again. Use it up or throw it away. But it's best not to not to refreeze something, and you should use especially fish just as soon as you thaw it out. In fact, some chefs will tell you that you should cook frozen fish actually still partially frozen, just a little bit thawed out. Okay, we've got our our garlic oil on that. Now we'll put some salt and pepper. I like to do the, the salt and pepper pretty thoroughly. I'm a good, a good pepper man, so I always put plenty of pepper on everything, although today we're going to get a little hotter spice because I'm using this Old Bay seasoning, which has a little heat to it, and also some hot paprika, some Hungarian hot paprika. We'll put that on the top here as soon as we finish them. I'm going to turn all those over so I can get some salt and pepper on the other side. I have some potatoes cooking in the oven at 350 and now I'm going to turn it up to 450 because that's where we bake the fish. You bake the fish hot and fast and uh, it kind of sears the outside pretty good doesn't get mushy or fall apart. Put a little salt and pepper on this side. We're going to take this little bit of this Old Bay seasoning, which is a fish seasoning. You can buy it in any supermarket. 
very popular. It's, uh, I think it's the only product that this company makes. I've never heard of any other Old Bay thing. And you just kind of put this all over it. Then I'm going to take some uh, Hungarian hot paprika. You can use regular paprika if you don't want uh, anything hot, but this has got a little, a little, a little heat to it. And you can see how much you're getting on there because this is red. I don't want to put too much on, but I do want to get enough to impart just a little bit of hot flavor. I kind of like that in fish. And I thought Bearhead would like it. He likes hot food, but he doesn't like fish. So I was going to give him this little hot shot fish treatment here to see if he might like hot fish. Okay, we're ready to go now. We have the, your fillets are all ready to go. They're dipped in the garlic oil. They got salt and pepper on both sides. We have a little paprika and Old Bay seasoning on the top. And we're going to just stick those in the oven for about eight minutes. And we'll check and see how, how they are at the end of eight minutes. If they're a little too thick, then you can't do it in eight minutes. If they're much thinner than this, we did some the other night, and we did them in six minutes, but they were a little thinner fillets than these. When you're cooking fish and you have a timetable, you have to kind of compare the timetable that people give you in recipes with the size of a fish in a supermarket. And the fish fillets in a supermarket are generally about three quarters of an inch thick. Some of these are three quarters, and some of them only about a quarter of an inch thick too. So you have to kind of pay attention to the fish that you have in relationship to the fish that the author of the recipe you're using had in the book and what he probably had are supermarket fillets which are a little thicker and bigger than game fish which is what we're cooking they're a little smaller than the 10 12 pound sea bass fillets that they might get in a supermarket so we'll let that cook I'll while that's cooking I'll show you what we're doing here to serve with this in the way of potatoes these are, uh, these are new potatoes, they're new white potatoes. And I'm cooking them in the oven with uh, butter, salt and pepper, a little uh, just a hint of garlic and some parsley flakes. And uh, we're hopeful that they'll be done about the same time that they fish is done. And then in addition to that, we're going to just have some carrots, which I just boiled in a little water here, heated up in a little water. They're, they're baby carrots. And uh, to cook those, I put a little sugar in them. Uh, it just kind of imparts a little sweet flavor to the carrots, and that's the way I like them. So in about five minutes, we should have our fish done, and our carrots and our potatoes will all be ready to go. So let's give it a few minutes and see how we come out. Okay, we're going to uh, check our fish here now to see how, how it is. It's been in there for eight minutes, and this is what it looks like. Now what we're going to do is take the biggest one here and see if it flakes off, which it does. So that means it's ready to go. So what we're going to do now is transfer that to a platter. And you'll have some of them break a little bit because these fillets are pretty delicate. good looking fish if I do say so myself. This fish, as I may have mentioned before, was caught in Nine Pipe Reservoir here in northwestern Montana on the Flathead Indian Reservation through the ice this winter. 
bass for me are a lot easier to catch through the ice than they are out there uh, uh, jigging and plugging for them. And we'll check our potatoes now and see how we're coming with our potatoes. And we might have a whole dinner here ready at one time. Wouldn't that be nice? And there are our oven roasted potatoes with in butter with uh, salt, pepper, a little garlic, some parsley, and here are our carrots. So I guess since the bear head didn't show up, we're going to have a new taster today. And that's Roy Big Crane, who's one of our cameramen. If I can just find my spatula now, there we go. And he's going to give us his erstwhile opinion here. Give him a couple of fillets there. Give him a few potatoes. Give him a few carrots. And there's our garlic baked bass from the Nine Pipe Reservoir. Oven roasted potatoes, carrots with a little sugar on them. And we'll see how Mr. Big Crane likes that. I know he's not as ornery as Bearhead. So we'll have to see what he has to say about our, about our dinner today. So Roy, I guess you're gonna have to put down your camera and make your way over here. Okay, we have our new tester, Mr. Roy Big Crane, who is one of our cameramen here. And he's going to taste our garlic baked bass from Nine Pipe Reservoir right here on the Flathead Reservation. And I certainly hope he likes it because uh, Bearhead doesn't like fish. So if he'd have shown up, I know I'd have got static by now. So Roy, take a taste, see if All it's right. worth the darn. This would be a good one. I never did eat bass before. You never did eat bass. Never huh? did eat bass, so my buds know I'm I can chow with the best of them, so I can eat. But I really like a food that dances on the old taste buds, so. How's it taste to you? Mm. Uh oh, don't tell me I got another bear head here. <laughs> Let me try another bite. I like that. Not too hot? No. I like hot, so it's been. Can nice. you taste that uh, hot seasoning on there? Yeah, it's uh, it's um, not real strong, but it kind of just tingles the tongue a little That's bit. That's just what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to give you just a little sensation of heat, but uh, not too much to drive you away. Well, along Bearhead's scale of 1 to 10, what do you think you're going to give me? Boy, that's a good one. Another good one. I'm usually pretty stingy on my high numbers, too. But I'm God, good. I, I ended up with another bear head. <laughs> I thought, now Roy eats here every day after we do the show. And on the way out one day, he said, Doug, I'd have to give you 11 on that. So I thought, boy, I'll get this tester, and he's just going to give me high numbers. But I'm seeing we're having trouble already. <laughs> well, it's really tasty, I, I would have to say. A 10. Oh, a 10. I thought he was going to say nine and a half, just because he doesn't like to give out 10s. Did you taste the potatoes? Not yet. Although that's not really our main cooking uh, today. I want you to taste those, see how you like them I'm there. I like bearhead, too. I like potatoes. I They're do, too. Baked, fried, but raw. <laughs> anyway, huh? Yeah. those are uh, oven mm. roasted in butter with uh, salt and pepper. Those are really good. Good. Glad you like that. Really good. And you'll have to taste one of those little baby carrots. They're, uh, the baby carrots are so much easier to cook. They're also much more expensive than regular carrots. But the baby carrots, you just have to cook them 
uh, boil them for a couple minutes, turn the heat down, and they'll just stay nice and uh, firm. Uh, you like the carrots? Yeah, they were good. They're just a little bit of firmness to them, not soggy. Yeah, that's the way they're supposed yeah. to be. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I got a new tester today, and he gave me a 10, which makes me happy. I was worried there for a minute because he... You know, a lot of Indians don't like to give other Indians really good grades on something. I don't know why that is. Bear heads like that, but Roy came through and gave me a 10 on the bass today. So with that, we'll call it a day for today. Thank you very much for watching another segment of Cooking with the Colonel. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much.